And for many veterans, returning home isn't an easy transition. For Clarence native Chad Miller, it almost cost him his life. Join your sides, Andy Payton shares his story and how he plans to inspire other veterans one stroke at a time. The waves of the Great Lakes may not be the size of those in the Atlantic Ocean. How far, how far do you yeah. want to row out? But as Chad Miller of Clarence has learned, how far are we trying to row out? You have to conquer the small challenges right there. before you can face the big ones, or in this case, a 3,000 mile one. As Miller and his team prepare to row across the Atlantic Ocean, a journey where he'll be constantly moving forward, but at the same time, pushing against his past. I regret calling him to this day because I know my mom knew something was, uh, was wrong. I know my brother knew something was wrong. I just intended on, you know, walking into work and then being like, hey, I'm going to go. I'll be right back and go to the bathroom and I plan on that being it. That was one of the two times in Miller's life where he thought about committing suicide while serving five tours in Afghanistan, Iraq, and the Persian Gulf. They call it 22 a day because that's how many veterans take their own lives. But over the last, like, couple years, it's been so frequent that it's just... You know, you scroll your Facebook page and it's like, there's another one, there's another one. Much, Nick yeah. Ron was almost one of them. I loaded well over 5,000 rounds of ammunition. That's the only misfire I've ever had. So it's very apparent that uh, it wasn't supposed to go off. And after four tours together, he was the one Miller called when he thought about taking his life a second time. You know, sometimes there's the truths that you don't want to hear that are the ones you need to hear in order to change where you're, where you're at and what your trajectory is. I was lucky enough to get a second chance. And uh, I decided that I was just going to utilize that second chance to try to inspire as many people as I can. That's what they plan to do alongside the other two members of the fight or die team. Tommy Hester of Landlock, Nebraska. You can mess me with the sharks, man. And William Jensen of Webster, Wisconsin. I mean, is right down the road. As they embark on their journey next month with the mission of inspiring other veterans going through similar struggles. So our thing is, you know, after service is over, it doesn't mean the adventure has to be over. But just crossing the ocean isn't enough. The team is aiming to set a new world record by becoming the fastest U.S. veteran team to accomplish the feat in under 50 days, 11 hours, and 8 minutes on a body of water nine times bigger than the ones they've been training on. It seemed like an impossible challenge. Then we got on the boat, we got the team together, and we started training together. Then it didn't seem so impossible. So as he straps into his rowing machine here at home for the final times, his mind is at ease because he knows this time he won't have to face this challenge alone. In Buffalo, I'm Andy Payton, Channel 2 Sports. Wow. Quite a story. A lot of analogies yeah. there. But to think of, you know, four men pulling together, mm -hmm. supporting each other and taking on that incredible challenge shows the way mm -hmm. that so many veterans get through it with the help of other veterans. And we'll continue to follow that story, too. Yeah, I can't wait to see them successfully complete it. And beautifully told by Andy Payton, too. Yes, very well done.